Hey Miss P, it's Claudia coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm going to take a few minutes just to respond to your question, what does RWOP mean to me? RWOP is the be-all, end-all for me. It has impacted my life in so many positive ways. It has uh, provided for me the ability to reciprocate, to give things back, to give something back, to be um, a contributor, and also to receive um, just so many blessings from so many of the women with whom I've connected and stayed connected. I love this community. Uh, every single day, um, my heart beats with RWOP. I, um, I have taken it on. I've committed to it. I love the ladies and the gentlemen um, with whom I've connected and who I've met over the course of this uh, a little over a year since I first signed on way back then. And I think Nana and a couple of the other veterans, uh, Paul Tador, you guys might remember this. I remember there were only like 20 of us uh, that signed on initially, 20. But Ms. P, I think when I last checked, I think we were like over like 47,000. That is absolutely phenomenal. The RWOP has impacted my family as well. My children have so many aunts. Um, they're always asking, what's Aunt Josie doing today? Or, or how's Miss Carol Ann? And I think the funniest one is uh, Miss Sweet Tea or Aunt Sweet Tea. I've had many of these ladies in my home. I've gone to their homes. And this is real. This is the realest aspect of this whole thing. Wonderful. To, to, to make videos and submit recipes. And I always say, my recipes brought me here, Miss P, but my friendships keep me here. And now my friendships have even blossomed into family. RWOP is, in essence, my extended family. There are so many of these women who have become so special to me, who I love, who I support. Um, I'm there with them every step of the way. And they know it. They know that I'm not just talking. They know that they can call me uh, anytime, day or night. And uh, I will be there for them to do whatever I can, big, little, or in between. And we have a favorite, the favorite thing, Ms. P, that we get from you that we've implemented into this community. It's called a pants down spanking. And uh, so we've even got our own method of discipline, if you will. And that's our way of saying, hey, you're crossing the line and you or you're towing the line. And so that's what we do. Pants down spanking. And you know where that comes from. You know, Miss P, I've um, a very short time ago, um, I was in a situation that literally changed my life. And you start to look at things very differently when you and not only you, but everybody that you know, everybody that you know in your immediate and extended circle has lost every single thing that they have. Turn and look to you for hope. And in a moment's notice, in the twinkling of an eye, you have to forget about your own situation and roll up your sleeves and dig down to restore and renew to whatever extent you can, even if it's just the littlest bit, to restore and renew those who have lost everything, don't know where they're going, don't have a place to live, don't have any resources except you. And I've been in that situation. I know what it is not to have. I know what it is not to know what's going to happen to my elderly parent. I worked for many years and was trying to um, to start a Creole Foods business, and uh, everything was going along swimmingly. And then this disaster struck. My entire culture, my culture, has been obliterated. And so from that, when you're in that situation, it makes you see things from a totally different light. I never want anybody, if I can help it, I never want anybody to know that kind of pain and anguish. I have been there.
But at any rate, there's a lot of love in this community. Um, a lot of forever and a day friendships, as I call them. And just a lot of just worthy, deserving women, women who should be promoted. They've got a lot of talent. Some of them just need um, a, a, a way to do it. They just need a little bit of insight or a nice big hug to give them the confidence that they need to move on. And I am committed. I'm ready to go forward and to do whatever I can and whatever it takes to make the Roman of Philadelphia the success that I know it can be, not just for the powers that be, not just for the brilliant geniuses, love you so much equal, um, that have designed this, and for Digitas recently coming in, big gunners, big hitters, we've got some force behind us, y'all, and uh, MSP, of course, you, you know, you speak for yourself, but the RWP is also a force. It's a deep, down-home, heartfelt force that's driving this whole thing. And I want to be there. I want to be a resource for my sisters who may not know what to do, may not know how to start. You know, I want to use my gifts and talents and blessings to help further. I to, to call them just for little things. You know, because sometimes I'm not paying attention. I'm going at a million miles an hour. And, uh, I need them. I need them to say, take care of yourself. Slow down. Get your butt up and go to jazzercise when I'm slopping off. Um, all the things that they know make me who I am. And they know me just as well as I know them. So all the things that they know that make me who I am, they're behind me. The support is unbelievable. You know, the support. They open their homes, their doors, their kitchens to me. They allow me to come in and say, you shouldn't put that spoon, don't put that meat fork in that, in that, with that milk, and because I'm halfway kosher and I, I cook kind of in a kosher, kosher fashion. But they allow me to come into their homes and say that to them. A lot of them say, Claudia, no one could have said that to me but you. And I turn around to them and I say to them, and vice versa. I think that we can make this into something that is also forever in a day. We're making social networking history here. There's nothing like this anywhere. Do the research, Ms. P. There's nothing like this. For this time, I had not done any of the social networking um, offerings because I didn't feel safe. I didn't feel uh, comfortable having my face and my public information out there. I feel right at home here. And you know what they say, home is where your heart is. So. I know that the RWP lives in me and lives in my heart. You are at the forefront with your love and your generosity. So you have set the platform. Your vision of, of giving women the opportunity to start a business, you know. $25,000 is a great start. Um, we can put more with that. We can build on that. Um, I'm willing to do that. We just need that chance. We need for craft and equal um, and all the other powers that be to just have a little faith in us and to look at us as a resource. Yes, we're there. We're driven. We can make great and long-lasting things happen from this community. So I guess what I'm saying to you, Ms. P, is RWP means a lot of things to me. Um, family first, not just friends, but family first. Um, it presents a great business opportunity for everyone involved. Great platform for that. And, but more so for me, it's an opportunity to give back. And that's big with you. You know that is your thing and, and, and you, you talk about that all the time. But to get together, join arms, join hands, join hearts, one heart, one voice, one love. That's the RWOP. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to hear us, for hearing that voice, for respecting that voice, for embracing us, and for giving us the opportunity to be a part of this fantabulous, fantabulous opportunity.